Hey guys and gals, it's Sweet Project Cars here with cool trick and affordable ways for the do-it-yourselfer and simple ways. Today we're talking, Julio brought up, matter of fact, Julio, tell everybody where they can get all these awesome tools and products. Buscar en el show más de la descripción de video para todas las herramientas. Thank you, Julio. Now, Julio brought up, we have never done a video on quick reconditioning of a steel wheel. I know a lot of you have vans, you got the E-150s, the E-250s, you've got maybe some Savannah vans, or maybe you've got an express van, or you just have steel wheels on your tractors, a lawnmower, or whatever it may be. Here is how you take a bad wheel and make it look better, and how you prevent it from happening in the future. The weight that's on it right here. We are not going to remove it. The customer does not want the weight removed. But if you do, all you do is mark both sides like this with a paint pen and then you pop it off and then you just put it back on and take a little tap right there and it'll go right back on. If this wheel, when it was new, had been sprayed with the NH oil and that's what we're using now. And the reason we're using this is because it's a much better product, it doesn't stink, it smells awesome, and it really seeps into the rust. But if this would have been sprayed on the backside, it would have never had this issue because most of the rust all started on the edges right here and here, and right here around the valve stem, it works its way right into this paint. You would jack the vehicle up, let the air out of it. You can push right here on the tire and stick an index card in there so that you can paint it. You'll always get overspray here and there's a way around that. But right now we're just going to work with another method instead of the index cards. So let me show you how we do that. We are going to take our Dremel and remove as much of the rust as we can. Now the back side of the wheel is pretty rusty, so spraying it with your NH oil will stop that rust from growing and getting any worse, which is highly recommended for any wheel, chrome, aluminum, it will stop all oxidization and all rust and corrosion. In the winter time, if you have to drive with your nice wheels, spray them down with NH oil and drive them all winter it will keep the corrosion and then in the spring you can wash them all up and clean them up. If you go through the car wash, they'll go through about oh, 10 car washes before you have to spray them down again. Make sure you're wearing your face mask. And I can't believe we never did a video on steel wheels, so Julio knocked it out of the park on that one. I don't know how many of you have an Ingersoll Rand for your impact, but these are the best we've ever found. I know some will argue and say their snap-on is there, but when you can buy this at half the price and it works just as good or better. All right, here we are. Now, it's all taken care of as far as the rust that we want off of it. So all you do is take your lacquer thinner. Now you want lacquer thinner for many reasons. We like to take and mix 99% with the lacquer thinner and you talk about a degreaser. It doesn't get any better than that. Because if you don't do this, see how the stuff is just running off? If you don't do this, your paint will never stick, your primer will never stick. Now we take our super duper telescooper handy dandy air nozzle, spray it down again. Put the card in there like that. And we use petroleum jelly. Now you can use transmission fluid, but the problem with it is it works but it's not eco-friendly and the other part of it is is that it doesn't really keep a lot of the paint from sticking 
So we use a little bit Vaseline, a little petroleum jelly, and all you do is rub it on the wheel like this. And guess what? This comes right off with your power washer. And it's petroleum, so it's really good for your tire. Now, if I was in front of the wheel, this would be easier to do. So I'm going to finish this up and then come back. How's that sound? Because it's a little hard doing it off to the side like this. So I'll be right back. All right, we've got it all coated. It's all done. Took about three minutes to do it. It's fully protected. Now, we're not going to worry about the threads and the studs here. If you are, you can coat each one of these with some Vaseline or petroleum jelly and it will keep the paint from adhering to that. But we're not going to be concerned with that because these are so large, they'll come right off even if there's a little bit of paint on there. Now, what we're going to do on the rusted areas where there's rust, we are going to spray etching primer on the rusty areas and then standard automotive primer on the rest of it. And I'm going to spray this on the tire so you can see what it does. And the reason we're only doing it with etching primer on the rusted areas is because this is more expensive than the standard primer. You can spray the whole wheel if you want with etching primer. Not going to hurt a thing. Now we'll let that dry up and make sure you have your face mask on when you're doing that. And then we're going to hit it with our standard primer. So we'll see you in a minute or two. Okay, our etching primer has dried and now we are going to cover it with a sandable, even though we're not going to sand it, um, automotive primer. Oh, before I do that, check this out. That dried as long as this did and it wipes right off. Pretty slick, eh? Now, if you wanted, you could let that dry and clear coat it and it would look great and you wouldn't have any problems with rust on the front again. But again, you need your NH oil sprayed on the backside to stop the existing rust. Or if you have a new truck, guys, or you have a dually, say you've got a Dodge Cummins Turbo Dually or something, 3500, then you want to get those wheels off as quickly as you can and get your NH oil on those wheels on the backside and this won't happen on the front but spray take the beauty rings off and the caps off and spray the whole thing with NH oil and you'll be good to go those wheels will last you for years and years and years so we'll let that dry and we'll be right back all right we're back you can see that most of the paint went to the bottom because paint always falls and very little of the paint went above maybe two inches off the wheel so you could only do two inches or three inches of the wheel if you wanted how easily that comes off. You can just wipe it off like this. You don't even have to take a power washer to this. But if you want to, you can. If you're going to do the power washer deal, let it dry for at least 24 to 48 hours before you power wash this off. You can wipe it off until then. You don't have to let the air out and jack it up and do all that stuff and have to re-air the tire and all that. This is really simple, it's easy. We can bang these out really, really quick and it works good. All right, now we're going to be using a aluminum spray on these to see how they look. Let's get busy. Now I'll put a couple coats on that and let it set 15, 20 minutes in 65 or hotter weather and then do another coat. Overall, this wheel looks awesome.